community initiative in Uganda is working to reverse the environmental damage left by refugee settlements. The UN-supported campaign is focused on planting new trees to replace those that have been cut down. Uganda hosts Africa's largest refugee population, now at 1.4 million. And that number is expected to grow, straining local resources and the environment. Isabel Nakiria reports from Western Uganda. Enoch Trajirayesu arrived in Uganda in 2005 after fleeing violence in Burundi. The former tailor came to Naki Valley, Uganda's oldest refugee settlement, housing more than 150,000 refugees. He remembers a time over a decade ago when the settlement still had abandoned tree cover. But more refugees has meant even greater pressure on resources as they largely rely on the environment for their livelihoods. Enoch, together with few other refugees, started planting trees in 2017. He's now leading a campaign to regrain Naki Valley, working with over 350 members to help save the environment. Since their small beginnings six years ago, they planted over 30,000 trees. Ekilozo chafu nka grupo chetu watandi kideko ni tugambati na kivale tu waga lango mumia kanga kumi ibelengi green kati singa nganda bankeno inirira daba ati ekiloto chafu kigenda mumia kanga nka kumi mumaso kigenda kuvanga gituse. But a host of challenges remains. About five years ago, this place was bare. All trees cleared by refugee communities here for fuel and construction. But with a new tree planting initiative, it's all green again. But the worry is the constant influx of refugees and the need for wood will reverse the trend once more. The destruction of trees has caused a negative impact on the environment. It now rarely rains in this area as climate change sets in. Waliwe vitundu usanga ngato simba mwe miti. Obude na kivale ensi ibera no musana nyo 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 nyo. Usanga ngato simje wala na ne vitundu tusora kujia mwa mazi ngato jite kako. Kubanga obude buwe musana tuleta mazi kunyanja ni tute kako kwa kumiti. Kubanga singa ngato jite kwa mazi igenda kubange nge kalubala. Since 2009, the UNHCR has been rebuilding forests in all refugee settlements in Uganda. The UN-funded Nsamizi Training Institute in Nakivali supports refugee-led greening campaigns like Enoch's, providing seedlings, training and financial assistance. The refugees plant a variety of trees, for example acacia, which provides a steady source of firewood, pine trees whose wood can be used for construction and fruit trees which can provide food. When it comes to the hills, even behind you see that most of them they are just shrubs. If they are not shrubs, they are bare hills. And you know that in the, in the long run, we don't know what's coming to us. What if there are floods? What will happen? So it's better, to, it's better for us to plant the trees and increase tree count within the settlement. Trainers from the institute also teach the refugees how to make energy efficient stoves to reduce their need for firewood. Over 5,000 cook stoves were distributed to refugee communities in 2022. Mukakajina Adereni and her family arrived from the Democratic Republic of Congo a few months ago. Using one of these stoves has allowed her to spend less time and fuel when cooking food. In the last two decades, Uganda has lost 13% of its tree cover to deforestation. The UNHCR says it hopes to protect the environment in a sustainable way while providing the basic needs for refugees. Yeah, and community-based organizations like Enox continue to be a driving force for environmental conservation. Isabel Nakiria, CNA, Nakivali, Western Uganda.